Gamer. Today I'm gonna be putting three microphones to the test. I'm gonna record the same song on each of them, apply the same preset, and see if there's any virtual difference. Now the catch here is these microphones are priced at very different prices, okay? First microphone we got here is the Blue Yeti. This thing is like default. Everybody in their life has probably had one of these. <laughs> this thing comes in around like 100 bucks you can get like at Walmart or like literally any store, probably a convenience store. <laughs> Next up we got the Audio Technica 2035. This is a banger mic for the price. It's 230 or 250 bucks depending on where you are. But it's around 200 bucks and it's an XLR mic. And last but not least, we got the Newman TLM 103. This is a banging microphone. It comes with a hefty price of around like 1500 bucks. We're gonna see if it's even worth it, you know? Cause like, who knows, maybe the $100 mic sounds just as good as the $1500 mic. <laughs> okay, so now we are in autotune. <laughs> yeah, so this is the Blue Yeti, so. Yes, yes. Yeah, so we're gonna record a little draft. So once again, this is on the Blue Yeti. I think this comes in at a hundred bucks. I got a fucked up liver and a attitude. I don't wanna be mad. Mad at you, got a bucket full of memories that I'm trying to forget. I'm just a name crossed out on her list. Just tell me what you want from me. Why did I take my shot? I always miss. You're standing right in front of me, yeah. On a burnt down highway. You flip the world right upside down in the worst way. Yeah, you guys got the point. That's the Blue Yeti. Now, in my opinion, this shit is fucking gas. Like, it's actually not even that bad. I thought it was gonna be way worse. Wow, dude. What the fuck? This is actually really surprising. I can't believe the Blue Yeti did that shit. Okay, so this is on the Audio Technica 2035. I think we can already kind of hear a difference in the quality right away. So that's a good sign. All right, I'm trying to do these all in one take. So it's like completely fair. You know, there's no jump cuts or anything like that. So we're going to do this all in one take again. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> I got a fucked up liver and an attitude. I don't want to be mad. Mad at you. Got a bucket full of memories. That I'm trying to forget I'm just a name crossed out on her list Just tell me what you want from me Why did I take my shot? I always miss you Standing right in front of me, yeah On a burnt down highway You flip the world right upside down In the worst way, leave my space I watch the world burn to the ground On a burnt down Highway, you flipped the world right upside down in the worst way. Need my space. I watched the world burn to the ground. <laughs> okay, so that was the AT2035. Honestly, once again, not bad at all. Definitely a little bit better, but we'll go over a little overview at the very end, okay? All right, fellas, we're on the big mic. This is the Newman TLM 103. This shit clocks in at around like 1500 bucks. Now we're gonna put this to the test to see if it's really worth spending like an, an extra thousand dollars plus. I'm gonna be really sad if it's not. <laughs> All right, here goes nothing. I got a fucked up liver and a attitude. I don't wanna be mad. Mad at you, got a bucket full of memories that I'm trying to forget. I'm just a name crossed out on her list Just tell me what you want from me Why did I take my shot? I always miss you Standing right in front of me, yeah Burnt down highway You flip the world right upside down In the worst way, need my space I'll watch the world burn to the ground on a burnt down. For the first one, we got the Blue Yeti. Now let's listen to this absolutely raw. I got a fucked up liver and an attitude. I don't wanna be mad. Mad at you, got a bucket full of memories. A lot of noise in it. It's definitely very loud. This is, by the way, on the Blue Yeti. I turned it the gain all the way down, and then I went in the settings and turned that. 50% down. I don't know why the blue head is so loud for him. Let me toss on the industry vocal preset we got that. I got a fucked up liver and an attitude. I don't wanna be mad. Mad at you, got a bucket full of memories that I'm trying to forget. I'm just a name crossed out on her list. Just tell me what you want from me. Honestly, pretty fucking good. Like, you could get away with that for sure. Blue Yeti definitely has a lot more high end for some reason. Not sure why. Every microphone is different. But I just want to say this. The Blue Yeti isn't really made for recording music. It's more made for, like, YouTube videos and just, like, recording audio for, like, 
just to record audio. Not really for music, but if you are gonna use the Blue Yeti, these presets are a great start for you because it obviously fucking works as we're here. Next up, we got the AT2035. Uh, we're gonna play it absolutely raw. Once again, I'm sorry my saying is so garbage, but here we go. I got a fucked up liver and an attitude. I don't wanna be mad. Mad at you, got a bucket full of memories that I'm trying to forget. So we can hear right away the quality is a lot better just on the raw recording. If the quality is better on the raw recording. Let's see how it sounds with the preset. <laughs> I got a fucked up liver and an attitude. I don't wanna be mad. Mad at you, got a bucket full of memories that I'm trying to forget. I'm just a name crossed out on her list. Just tell me what you want from me. Yeah, dude, it, it sounds really fucking good. Now, obviously, the Audio Technica is gonna perform better. It's an XLR microphone versus a USB microphone. Sounds a lot better. But that being said, I'm not trying to shit on the Blue Yeti. It it fucking performed. It caught me off guard. Now, I used to be a Blue Yeti hater. But honestly, after this, it, <laughs> it's not that bad, bro. You just got a good preset for it. You're going to be good. You know what I mean? Next up, we got the Newman. Now, this is quite the jump. Okay. The last jump was about a $100 jump, $150 jump between the Blue Yeti and the AT2035. This microphone is around $1,500. Okay. So, this is a very big jump. Okay. So, these are the raw vocal. I got a fucked up liver and a attitude. I don't want to be mad. Mad at you. Got a bucket full of memories that I'm trying to forget. Okay. So, raw vocals, nothing too special. You know, it sounds pretty clean, obviously, but nothing crazy. Un, out of the ordinary, you know? But once again, they're raw vocals. Alright, we just turn on the preset and here we go. Uh, yeah, uh, I got a fucked up liver and an attitude. I don't wanna be mad. Mad at you, got a bucket full of memories that I'm trying to forget. I'm just a name crossed out on her list. Just okay, I think we can say confidently that it obviously is better than the AT2035, but not even by that much. I'm not gonna fib to you. The Blue Yeti actually performed pretty good. For the price that it's at, it's honestly a great microphone. 100 bucks and you get a decent sound out of it, all right? But it's 100 bucks, okay? So you got to keep that in mind. The AT2035 knocks it out of the park for the price. I think it's way better than the Blue Yeti. It's astronomically better. Like, it's it's a lot better. But the main reason I think that it's so much better is probably because it's an XLR microphone versus a USB microphone. Now for the Newman, okay? And don't get me wrong, the Newman sounds the best out of all of them. But I think the AT2035 and the Newman are pretty comparable. Like, if you play them side by side, you might not even know which one is which. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure that's the magic of the preset. Would you guys go look at it? I've always wanted to put my presets to the test to make sure that they sound good on multiple different microphones. And in this video, we learned that they sound good on a lot of them. On a $100 microphone with a dent in it, by the way, look at this. <laughs> you can sound really good. And a $200 microphone, you can sound good. And a $1,500 microphone, you can sound good as well. But yeah, make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, all that fun stuff. Uh, hopefully, I see you for the next one. And I'll see ya. Blah, blah, blah.